They say change is the only constant in life. They say never give up on your dreams. I followed my dream and it brought me all the way from Australia to the land of colour, culture and food. The happy hippie land of Goa is an inviting medley of flavours for me and the perfect harbour to anchor my dream of starting my first restaurant. I want to meet the people who make Goa, savour their food and make them try some of mine. So come along with me as I live my dream and discover the sunny side of Goa. Hi, I'm Sarah Tud. Come and be a part of my adventures. How often does one get to spend a day with their closest friends? Well, this is one of those days. With my best friends, I'm out today in search of some more going adventures. to be here. I brought my three friends from Australia. So I've got Nick, Sam and Celeste and I thought I'd take them around on a little tour of Goa and today we're going to a spice plantation. So let's see how it goes. Hi. Hi everybody. Hi, I'm Sarah. Hello. Hello. Nice Sam. to meet you. Celeste, me too. Hi, Hi Nick. Nice Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what are we going to be seeing today? Plants this that I will uh, taking you for the a spice plantation today. Now. Awesome. So you can eat this. I can smell it already. <laughs> mm. Far out, that's amazing. It's a curry leaf, yeah? Yeah. Any guesses what the growth of this plant? Uh, uh, cardamom? <laughs> exactly, cardamom. Oh, good guess. <laughs> <laughs> to take out the green cardamom we have some over here it's so aromatic isn't it now about this tree you please smell it thank you how does it smell like mm. cinnamon mm. exactly cinnamon. Cinnamon. what are these called uh, it is called rose apple <laughs> <laughs> they've got such a beautiful texture and you know having a vibrant color like that just lifts any dish and makes it look really beautiful we have these four beautiful ladies here and they're about to teach us some traditional spice grinding. Up Kessie Ho. <laughs> so we've got cumin, coriander, cloves, some red chilies. It looks like a really nice uh, paste that's being made so there's lots of water being added in. So I think it's a really nice paste as a, a base for a, a curry. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. So that's rice. It's so interesting to see the old techniques that, you know, when you're sitting there eating a bowl of rice to actually know how much has gone into just getting that rice. It's incredible to see how they turn this into rice flour. We've seen the first process of removing being the husks and now turning it into the flour. It's incredible. Wow, I didn't realize that's how they grated it. It's so incredible how amazing all of these techniques are and how they came about. You know, I would never have imagined that this is how you grate a coconut. It's really fresh. You know, we're, the way it comes for us in Australia is in a packet. And so we have it, it's really dry and it still has the same sort of texture, but having it this way and fresh and moist, it's really, really refreshing. So we've had our tour of the spice plantation and we've now seen how the ingredients get ready and you know grinding the spices and creating the masala and now we're here to learn a Goan delicacy so I'm looking forward to seeing what you're going to teach us today. So what are we cooking today? Uh, today we're cooking a chicken chat masala, palm oil, yeah, onion chops, 
tomato. Mostly what happens in Goa is they only use ingredients that are farmed locally. Cinnamon powder. There you go. Okay. Coriander powder. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cumin. Mm -hmm. Smells good. So I've noticed a paste over here that looks really thick and rich. I think it might be the one that we just ground earlier on. Chat masala. So here we have it, our chicken chat masala. I'll give it a taste. You know what I love about this is that the chicken was pre-cooked. It makes me feel like this could be a perfect weeknight meal. So you could kind of grab something that you have in the fridge and then throw together this spice base with, you know, the onion and the tomato and then just give it this extra punch of flavor. Great idea. I like it. The chef inspired us enough to do a small cook-off between Nick and Celeste. This, this. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. Yeah, that looks nice. This, this. This, like this. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Celeste and I have got a little secret stash over here, which we've already beaten Sarah to. Which is the. Oh, oh. Oh, when well, you so need no. that. I think Celeste is doing really well. She paid attention to what the chef did earlier. I think we'll make the dish really beautiful. I think Nick's done a great job on this dish. It's all about, you know, just simple flavours put together and just cooked nicely. Thank you for teaching us this Thank dish. You. So we've had a go at it. Nick's done a really good job, so I'd like you to taste and see what you think. Mm, good. Yeah? Oh, yeah, good job, Nick. High five. Uh, good for a uh, little spicy. little spicy? Yeah. yeah. See, I like a bit of spice. <laughs> this one, okay. Yes. 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 Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Today was more than just a cook-off. It was more about the fact that Celeste and Nick don't generally cook that often. So we wanted to get them involved and get them cooking in the kitchen. And you know what? They surprised me. They were absolutely amazing. And I think both dishes were super tasty.